Hey babes, it's me Zion today. I'm back with another video. This feels so weird. Like I'm not recorded a video in a very long time as y'all can see. I don't even, no, I think I I recorded a video last month or two months ago and I put to make this intro short and because you guys have heard it a lot of times, I do plan to come back to posting. I'm just gonna do it on my own time and not make promises because I'm done making promises when I don't even know if it's not I don't know, it's just I have to get my life organized a lot easier to be able to do this. But I don't know exactly where this channel is going to go. I'm just going to post like what I want kind of and not necessarily follow trends and things like that. Because that's what I got caught up trying to do and that's what was kind of stressing me out. But I kind of want to use my platform for motivation and guidance. And I do want to throw in some fashion hauls, like fashion in general, but mainly hauls and stuff. But I do have a few ideas, but this is going to be the start of a series that I want to start. And it's going to be chat to his eye, but I'm just going to do like, come on here and talk about different topics. If you guys have any topics you want me to talk about, be sure to leave it in the comments. I am going to talk about anxiety, depression, uh, being 20 or learning how to be an adult, so things like that. So like growing up type of things, basically y'all going to grow up with me. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah. I don't, yeah, so I'm gonna get started with this video. And as you guys seen by the title, this video is going to be about being grateful and slowing down in life, not living my life in the present. I feel like I am so focused on my future that I'm not living my life in my present. And I feel like a lot of people get stuck in that type of mindset. And I know for sure social media definitely plays a role in it, but it's the idea of like, wanting so much more but not appreciating what you have now and that's basically what i'm going to be talking about my entire life has basically been me wanting the most in the future i always want to work a hard like i always want to work to like work a whole type of status and never like enjoy my life and not even just enjoy my life just appreciate where i'm at and what i have while i have it and if i had this conversation we were literally in our car we have a car grateful to have a car um, i'm gonna get into that a little later but life was a lot more peaceful genuinely a lot more peaceful when i did not have a car and i remember taking the bus and uh but i can't wait to get a car i can't wait to get a car if y'all have a car or if y'all don't i'll let you know right now a car is a lot of money a car breaks down when it wants to a car doesn't care if you're on your last bill and you have no more money a car does not care about that a car will give out give out on you in the middle of the highway example this has happened multiple times so car brings a lot more problems i don't want to say problems all problems but it brings a lot it brings new things to worry about that you never have to worry about like for example when you're taking the bus when you're taking the bus you could possibly miss the bus but another one's gonna come if you don't have a tire and your tire gives out your car's getting towed like there's no way around that so there's like little things and things that we should appreciate when we have it a lot of people who have cars are very stressed out i was not as stressed out in life when i did not have a car yes my life is a lot better because i can do a lot more but it's also appreciating the time where i was taking the bus and the bus was a dollar fifty the bus came at the time and said it was gonna come the bus took me to the important places i needed to go if you don't have a car i would just say appreciate where you're at just in terms of me telling the story taking the bus is not that bad especially when you don't have to deal with 200 dollar car bills up to a thousand dollar car bills my car when i got it because i got into a car accident when i got a new car it cost literally a thousand dollars to get fixed so taking the bus and it's just the idea of appreciating what you have and where you came from for sure and being grateful for what you have. Because sometimes I get into my mind where I start complaining and I'm like, oh, I wish I got a bigger car because you know, it's a little car. It, I have a lot of family and I do a lot of errands, like running errands and my job is like a driving job. So sometimes it gets a little hard to drive the little car, but I have a car. Some people in this world are like 30 to 40 and never get a car. Like it's me being grateful for what I have and not Oh, I wish I got this. Oh, I can't wait to get this. Like, I need to learn, and a lot of us need to learn to appreciate what we have while we have it. Let me tell you guys a little something. I'll probably put pictures. This was my first apartment. This was my first apartment. I was so happy to get it. 
I was so happy to get it. I didn't realize how bad it was until I left, until I stayed for two years, and then I started to realize this isn't it. Right now, I live in a two bedroom, a big two bedroom, big living room, nice bathroom, nice kitchen, dining room in the kitchen. And I tend to not appreciate it right now. Crazy part about it is this is the exact apartment that I almost, no, let me not lie. I cried for because they kind of almost denied me from living here. I cried because I needed to find somewhere to go and if you guys know how the housing situation is, there is not a lot of houses out here in decent pricing. This is a very good price for what it is. I almost lost my mind, I had to call my boyfriend. I was in tears, I was angry because it was like a lot of back and forth. Like I didn't know if we were getting an apartment or not. And now it's like I disregard it in a way. Like I just come in here, put my stuff down, go in my room. Like I don't appreciate it, I haven't decorated it. Mind you, I'm on a blank wall. This is like a big old living room. And what I'm trying to get myself to understand is that I have to appreciate where I'm at in life, be grateful for where I'm at in life. Because as you guys seen the first apartment, this new apartment, I'm not gonna really show it right now, but this new apartment has nothing on there. And I just told you guys, I have two big bedrooms, a hair room actually, and basically a second closet for me, a huge bathroom in a mirror, a huge mirror, huge uh shelving so nice and it's like i wanted to be here i actually could not get in the first time i wanted to and i got a second apartment that apartment didn't work out i'm never gonna get into that story but i moved into this one after moving out of that one and i finally got into the apartment for me it's kind of like why am i not appreciating what i have and being grateful because this is exactly what i wanted when you get to exactly where you wanted you start to look at it as i could do better and i pretty much live my life like i just want to share this message to appreciate what you have be grateful for what you have and at the time that you're in it's it's gonna get better as long as you're working for it it's gonna come one day so you might as well appreciate where you're at because you have to appreciate what you have and what i notice is when you appreciate what you have you kind of get gifted with the things that you want in the life in this life and luxury apartment living yes it's nice and all but it's not necessarily a need it's a want so at the moment, I have what I need. I have somewhere to live. I have a nice apartment. Mind you, this is what I want to be technical. But I look at it as I see on social media, you know, luxury apartments, big cars. Oh, I want that now. And you change completely how you felt about where you're at in life all because of other things. So I'm learning to not do that. And if you guys relate in any way, be sure to comment down below. But I'm going to do like probably sipping wine and sitting down because I'm standing up. But on our next talk, let me leave me topics to talk about. I want to talk about like being an introvert, being uh, having anxiety, not having friends, toxic parents, narcissistic family, things like that. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And sorry, I'm coming back. I'm not gonna make any promises. I'm gonna say at least twice a month. But if you guys give me a lot of topics to talk about, then I will talk about them and we'll start the channel back up with like chats and stuff. But to give you guys a sneak peek, I do want to do recreating pinterest outfits but for a mid-sized body because that's the body i have so i want to do those videos so if that's something you're interested in be sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you babes in the next video